Today we're gonna draw a pair. The colors I'd like to use. Um, I like to make a little chart down on the bottom when I'm doing you know, these kind of fun things. And you might wanna do it too because you can, then when you go back to look at your work or if you wanna paint again and you'll say, well, what colors did I use? It's always good to have a little key down here. So cadmium yellow, there are two yellows in my tub. I'm not sure what's in yours. The cadmium is a little warm yellow and then the orange and then we're going to use the yellow green um, and then I didn't have burnt umber so I used Mars brown plus sienna so those are these two colors over here the Mars brown plus sienna I used those two colors to make this um, burnt umber looking and um, I did make a group so I'm hoping if you paint along with me today you will put this group in and you will do any artwork that you've done here at Art Yourself Studio. It's called Art Yourself Studio Creators. So I wanted to open it up to anybody doing artwork and they want to show their work. It is a judgment free place. Um, we're not criticizing other people's work. We're just getting a chance to show our work and, and show what we've been doing. And especially since I can't see you guys, which I wish I could, um, since I can't see you guys, I would love if you posted in that, that group some of the artwork that you're gonna do. Okay, so um, for the pair, just a little bit of a drawing. If you think of, of two circles, one circle and then another circle on top, and then you can kind of connect connect your circles. Of course, it's really good if you had a pair in front of you or a picture of a pair on your phone, then that would help you kind of um, see what you wanna draw. But I, I like to have a little bit of indent. Sometimes the pairs have a little bit of an indent. Um, another thing I'd like you to think about is um, if you decide where the light is, like see, see where the light is coming from. And I like to put a little arrow on my, my paper. So there's a little arrow. This is, this is the stem that's sticking in a little bit. So this is just reminding me that's where the sun is coming from. So I wanna leave a little patch of light here and probably here when I'm painting. So I did, I did go ahead and draw another one over here just for today. Um, I did my arrow and um, what we're gonna be doing is a layering technique. Last week we did uh, wet on wet on the watermelon. So this one we're just gonna do like a transparency layer technique. And I drew this out and some artists are fine when you draw, they like to leave the, the lines showing and some artists don't. And I really leave that up to you. Um, I like to try to at least get most of the writing out that I can without losing my picture. If it's a real detailed picture and I need to leave some in, I will. I'll never judge an artist if I see their artwork and I see the lines because then I know they drew it. Uh, I like to try to get it out as much as I can, but I, I understand that too. This Magic Rub Eraser is a really good one. Um, you can lightly erase it and it gives you just a real nice clean eraser line and it doesn't give you like a hard drawing erased line on here. So this is a good eraser. You don't, don't go out and buy something new. Use what you have. Okay, as I said before, we're gonna do like just a nice light wash. We're gonna use this cadmium yellow that we put down first. And the cadmium yellow is the, uh, the warm yellow. I'm gonna wash it on this pair and I'm gonna try to leave that space open where I want the light to come. Um, you really, in, in watercolor, uh, a lot of watercolorists like to keep that, uh, the white space showing instead of coloring it in and then, and then putting white on top of it. Uh, usually when you look at a piece, you'll see that they don't necessarily do that. Sometimes I do when, when I really want something to show up bright and I don't have a chance to, um, I, I accidentally cover it up, which is fine. That's not a bad thing. Um, while I'm letting that first layer dry a little bit, I'll show you that I have my, pa my paper here. I have two waters, one dirty. I go dirty first and then I go into the clean when I then when I get the new color. So we did just a light wash here. I'm going to do a light wash. I'm going to do a light wash with this uh, that mixture 
And I kind of love how that bleeds in there. It, it wasn't supposed to. I didn't intend it to. But that's what's so fun about watercolor is just the bleeding. It's so fun. Okay, so then we're kind of, that's kind of dry. And I think we talked a little bit about it last week. The way you can tell it's dry is if it's wet, if it's um, not cold on the bottom. But I also see some shine on there. I don't know if you guys see that. There's a little bit of shine. So it definitely is still a little bit wet. Um, I'm going to wash in just a little bit of this green, kind of down the bottom. Um, I might make some this burnt umber to make it a little bit more of the the dark. And the sun, the light's coming from here, so I want it to be darker down here. But this is again the first layer, so we're just washing it in. There's probably going to be another one up here because remember we drew two circles. So this one's going to have a little uh, shading as well. Yeah, that might be too dark. But what's nice about watercolor is you can use the water and just push it around a little bit and get it back to where you want it. See, I keep kind of pushing the water and playing with it. Remember last week how we put the water in and the water, the color went to where the water was? It didn't go outside of it. That was kind of fun on that wash. Um, now I, I would like a little bit more, uh, um, try putting in a little bit of the orange. Now I'm starting to layer. So I'm going to cut, oops, that's got too much. I didn't clean it out very well. If that happens, don't, don't worry. If that happens, don't worry, um, you can sc scoop it up with a paper towel. Some people, oh, sorry for, for the, the phone. Some people use a paper towel. Uh, some people use a tissue. Some use toilet paper. I think the paper towel tends to leave like a mark when you press it down to pick it up. And that's why I think people prefer tissue because it just does a nice job of picking it up. I'm just going to add a little bit of orange in here and let's let it just bleed some. That's a bright, actually that's the red, isn't it? But it's still kind of pretty. I like it how it's, how it's bleeding like that. I'm gonna grab that orange. If you look at a pear, sometimes you see some red, you see some bright green. Um, this is not like always the way you plan it, which is kind of fun too, because you can be a little creative. I'm still trying to leave some of that, that highlight and let the colors just bleed and move about. It's still pretty wet, so the best thing is to let it dry for the next layer. Sometimes I like to write down what, what colors I use. Like here I put the green. And you guys can do that too. I put orange. Because this is going to be your like dictionary. I also put some red in there, which I didn't mean to because it's not in our color chart down here. But I do kind of like that, how that looks. Maybe I want to move it a little bit by picking it up and moving it over. Um, as we go along, we'll be using other techniques. We'll be using salt. We'll be using um, this magic eraser. And we'll be using sponge, sponge work. Um, when I'm painting, I love to have two paintings going at a time because then I can see this one can dry while I work on the other painting. Uh, I'm going to give you a little bit of a minute to catch up. I hope your paintings are, you're catching up with me. You're able to add these colors as we go. Look at how it just moves as it's drying. Some people use a hair dryer. I don't want to do that because it'll make too much noise for this, for our purpose. I do want to ask that you, um, Go ahead and add your pictures to Art Yourself Studio Creators. I made a special group. Um, I want it to be a judgment-free uh, group, and I want you to uh, feel free to upload any creations that you're making to show everybody what you're doing. Hopefully, you'll be able to use some of these techniques that we're learning each week. Um, let's see. Here we go. Sorry that it keeps moving. I keep hitting it. <laughs> um, I definitely want you to know next week we're going to be doing, or Thursday, we're going to be doing a, a lemon, which is going to be similar colors, but just as pretty. Now, I'm going to, this is kind of washed out a little bit. So I'm going to try to add some more of this uh, cadmium to make it a little richer on this side. 
we're still going to keep that sun, uh, the sun spot, and just make it more like a yellow pear. And it's very, very simple. It's if you make a mistake, don't worry. Just do it again. Have some fun. But look how rich that is when you just drop that color in. You can see you've got a little bit of a shadow down here. Um, as far as a shadow on the paper, just do a little wash. I put down the color. I wanted to do some, some of the green. And I'm going to just now take, you see how there was a lot of water in there? I'm just going to drag it out here under bit, a bit a little. Just leave a little line so that it doesn't bleed into the, the top. And basically that's it. That's simple. That's that's what it is. Um, I'd like to know, give me a thumbs up if you guys are giving this a try yourself. Uh, I'd love to see it. Please post in Art Yourself Studio Creators so I can see what you're doing. Um, let's see, anybody think I should add anything? I guess I could do a, a little bit of a, another layer here. I'm going to do a little light, just a light. There we go. See how it just bleeds in there? And then that brown is there. It's kind of the shadow of the stem. Next week we'll put, we'll, on the leaf, we'll be adding, sorry, on the leaf. Next Thursday at 3 o'clock we're going to do a, a lemon. And the lemon will have um, a green leaf on it. So we'll learn the leaf. Please, if you're doing this with me, please load it up so I can see it. This was uh, last week's. I redid it. We did the watermelon. So at the end, I'm hoping after this whole thing, uh, we'll have this whole book filled with just teeny little paintings that we're doing. Look how that moved. That was kind of fun.